Welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. President Obama announced that he has always been supportive of U.S. troops. And, oh, I'm sorry, the punchline to that joke was stored on Lois Lerner's hard drive. <laughs> The IRS announced that the hard drives containing Lois Lerner's emails have been destroyed and that they only keep emails for six months. <laughs> yeah, but I have to hold on to my Dunkin' Donuts receipts from six years ago in case I get audited. <laughs> President Obama is sending military advisors to Iraq. And by military advisors, he means guys with moving vans to pack up the American embassy. <laughs> Islamic extremists in Iraq have taken control of one of Saddam Hussein's chemical weapons facilities. You know, those are the same chemical weapons facilities he totally didn't have. <laughs> the U.S. Patent Office has stripped the Washington Redskins of its trademark because the name Redskins is offensive. And today, Caucasian Americans immediately demanded the White House change its name. <laughs> ABC News gave the latest developments in the VA scandal just 14 seconds of coverage, which is exactly 14 seconds more than the Obama administration spent trying to fix the problem. <laughs> White House advisor Valerie Jarrett met with Fox News mogul Rupert Murdoch to discuss immigration reform. But don't worry, Fox News promises to give a fair and balanced version of whatever the administration is ordering them to say. <laughs> And finally, a small statue of President Obama was found inside a toilet at a conservative conference. And hey, if it was a statue of George Bush, whoever did it would have gotten an NEA grant. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Be sure to subscribe to our videos on YouTube, and we'll catch you next time.